I was like 18 and I wanted to become a, an artist and I realized pretty quickly that uh, I was absolutely not talented enough to be anywhere near the word artist and then I started to like ask myself how can I help artists and so people told me like oh you have to go to to major labels you have to work at Universal or whatever and so that's mm -hmm. what I did and obviously that was the worst way to actually help artists because like the world of music was getting destroyed by this kind of like post permission reality and it was the first word the first industry to get absolutely just devastated by by um, by this tsunami um and um and for me it really fueled this rebellion or this frustration about we don't need the permission of any major label uh, or the artists don't need the permission of any major label to actually access the audience and take ownership of their project. And so I, I built a crowdfunding and crowdsourcing uh, music label, which was basically like a Kickstarter style donation based uh, crowdfunding platform on, on which I attached a marketplace of skills with vetted providers to, to create your project. So you would raise yeah. money from your fans, strengthen the artist fan relationship and spend that money. And so the thing was like, okay, now you don't need the labels, right? Yeah. But the thing is that most of the artists, they were not thinking like that at all. Mixing that realization from the old music industry and the old artist mindset with then spending t the next 10 years helping startups grow and be more ambitious and seeing young entrepreneurs that have learned anything online, coding, etc., go on and build like VC backed startups. I was like, it sounds like this post permission thing is not one small isolated phenomenon. 